Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma and welcome back to another episode of Morrowind. In today's episode, we're going to do something for, um, yesterday. Personally, I dislike Valentine's Day, but yeah, I haven't really done much of any kind of specials on the channel so far, except for sort of something on Christmas, but really Karate Kid isn't very Christmassy. So, today we are going to do a little Valentine's special for Kevin, and specifically Kevin is going to do something for somebody else. We are currently at this location on the map, near Pelagiad. If we zoom in, we are at this crossroads here. And there's a lady standing out here in the middle of nowhere. Let's go talk to her. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nilos. Nilos Anmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if you could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? I will try and find this man if only for love's sake. I have no time for your foolish games, girl. Let's be nice. Kevin can try to help her out. You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagiad, even though it's to the south. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I am certain he will want to find me again. Maury's left glove has been added to your inventory. How does the day greet you, friend? She now looks like a uh, inverted Michael Jackson. And as far as the gloves go, I mean, I'm not trying to imply that. You know what, never mind. Let's equip our steroids. And by steroids, I mean the boots of blinding speed. And let's head off to Pelagiad. See if we can find this guy. Today's episode, I think, will be mostly back and forth stuff, but there's going to be a couple other things that we're going to try to get done by the end of this episode. It shouldn't take too long, but um, recently it seems that I haven't been able to pack quite as much content into the episodes as I'm used to, or I would like to. So, I don't know. We'll get done what we can. I jump into Pelagia today. Woohoo! And break my legs. <laughs> Plagiat is quite large when you look at all the farms over there and all the buildings you have to go in over here. Plus there's a fort. Fortunately, I know where this guy is. I'm going to take off my boots for just a second so I can see where we're going. Marie's left glove has nothing special about it, although it does kind of... It's worth a lot. And inside the halfway tavern, to our right, over here, is Nilos Anmar. Wealth beyond measure, out that <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. He's nothing special, just a rogue. Although this rogue happens to be a thieving rogue. And quite good with the ladies, too, so I guess, yeah, he's a rogue. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nilos. I must see her again. I won't forget this friend. Note from Nilos? Where is it? There it is. Yes, just tell her you have a note from Nilos. I think she'll be happy with it. Okay, sure, we can do that. Not sure if I'm the go-between or a cupid, but, you know, whatever. I wonder if we can take a look at this note. And hopefully it won't be anything too obscene. Maury, truly I was enchanted with you from the moment I saw you. I beg your forgiveness for my past transgressions. While I cannot imagine what a woman of your beauty and breeding would see in a rogue such as me, I thank the gods that you have sent for me. I will come to you as soon as I can. Until then, yours, Nilos. Definitely a strange couple, but I've seen stranger. Much, much stranger. And with these boots, she's not that far away, so let's go ahead and return this to her. I'm actually uh, finishing this up a li little bit faster than I was expecting. Wee, wee, wee. Hopefully, I won't pass by her, which has happened before. Crossroads, anytime now. Crossroads. Whoa! That was right in my ear. Oh, 
What was that? Oh, it was a netch. Well, the Beaumont Lombo is uh, strong enough to kill a netch now. So I'm going to kill a netch. These big guys will actually shoot a long-lasting, very strong poison at you after you attack them. Four leather, wow. So if you can kill him in one hit, great. If not, uh, you're going to take a bit of damage until you kill him. Because he has such a long death animation, uh, you're probably going to get poisoned for a while after he's dead. Mori? I got something for you. I must find that bandit. I believe him. he's in Pelagiad. Perhaps he'll come back to find me, though. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful! Thank you so! I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend Emuset Brachis in Tel Arun. She's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Emuset Brachis? I thought it was Berwin that she directs us to. Interesting. Tel Arun. Alright. Tell Arun. Let's see, where are we going? So she's trying to set us up with one of her friends now. Tell Arun. Come on, Kevin. You're not that lame. Kevin. <sighs> Just a second. Hello, Telvani Guard. Are we in Tell Arun? Now we're in Telmora. Alright, where's the boat? To my memory, we actually had to go to Berwyn to finish up this quest, but okay. Here we go, Telarune. Great! Now, where are they? Telarune. I'm not very familiar with this place. I think this is the center of slave trade, but I'm not sure. She believes I would do well to meet this woman and that we might enjoy one another's company. I have seen Stranger Things happen in the past few days. Yeah, like, uh, Corpus Cure. And we've set Brack Hayes. I think I might know where she is. Might. To my knowledge, the only way into Telerune is through here, the underground, but I think, unofficially, we can climb over this hill. And it'll have the same effect. Looks that way. I put on the boots of blinding speed, but it's dark out, and I don't want to have to rest again. So... Uh, I don't know where to look for her. Hemuset. Hemuset. No. Pot and plaster? Not quite. Arin Telnim. That's a name that sounds very familiar to me. I feel as though I should know it, but I don't. Where the heck is this person? Uh, okay. Come on. Kevin's just that, like that wizard from a long time ago whose name I forget. Keeps getting stuck on stairs. I thought I was being attacked for a moment. What was that? <laughs> Ah, uh, where is this person? I'm probably in the wrong area. That's what's going on. I'm in the wrong area for all of this. There's a something. Oh, I'm sliding. I'm sliding. Okay. I slid. Hello? Flag? I can't read the flag. Wait, did I just go all the way around and get nowhere? Alright, let's fast forward to when I find this person. Now the pot and plaster. You're not her. I go down the stairs. Oh, there she is! Friggin' finally! I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Emuset Brack Hayes. How can I help you? Marie Orman directed me to you. And she gains 20% or 20 points of disposition with us automatically. Ah, so you're the one who brought Mori and Nalos together. Nothing has been seen or heard of them since then, but the bars are singing songs of their love. Well done, Kevin. Please take these as a token of my gratitude. Wow, already? That's pretty crazy. Three exclusive restore health. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mari and Nalos? I'm sure they'll be very happy together. And we can't get anything else about it. Alright, so that's the end of that quest. It was rather simple, to be honest. 
And now, um, let's move on to something else. I am going to Seder Thamora now. Back at Seder Thamora. We've been coming here a lot lately for a whole bunch of guild quests. And even a uh, main quest that we just finished up recently, which was awesome. Curing Corpus has made my life a whole lot easier in between episodes. I no longer have to worry about searching blighted or diseased creatures for their spoils whenever I kill them. And I am very happy about this. I've also sold the majority of our Cure Common Disease and Cure Blight Disease potions and scrolls. Which has really increased our availability on carry weight. I think we got about two or three pounds extra from that. Very awesome. Anyway, we are here to go into the Telvani Council House. Hello. And in here, Telvani Council House. It's a very unique area in the game. Uh, Great House Telvani is a assortment of mages. They are a political party. And, uh, yeah, party pretty much guarantees what we're looking at here. This is a blank area, though. I don't know what this is for. Well, I guess there's also a blank area over there. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you, my lady. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Uh, no. Also, the there's a lag in here because of all the great graphical explosions. You can't see any of this from outside either. I am Felissa Ulissen, the mouth for Mistress Therana. The mouth? I am a mouth in House Telvani. I speak the words of my patron here in the Telvani Council. Meanwhile, the main uh, council members are off doing their own thing in their own mushroom houses. She is my patron in House Tavani, and I am her mouth. She can be difficult at times. Be very careful if you must speak with her. House Tavani is one of the great houses. We value talent, knowledge, and initiative. Perhaps you would like to join House Tavani. Actually, we were requested by a commenter to join House Tavani, so let's do that. Join House Tavani. Yes, you may be a worthy candidate. Would you like to join? Yeah, sure, what the heck. Are you certain? Remember that once you join, you cannot join any other great house. Perhaps you'd like to hear our rules. Let's hear the rules first. We trust all members of House Telvani to use their own judgment. If you steal from another Telvani but still live, then clearly you deserve whatever you stole. Murdering your opponents by magic or treachery is the traditional way of settling disputes. If you win, then clearly your argument has more merit. Okay. You may be expelled as in any other great house, but most Tavani will not care or even know about it. Does this appeal to you? Yes, I am eager to join. Well, not me personally. I mean, I'm not really a mages person fan, and I hate politics. So joining House Tavani is like the opposite of whatever I would do, but hey! You want me to join House Tavani? Let's join House Tavani and see what it's like. I have no idea what I'm getting into. You are now a member of House Tilvani. Welcome, Hireling Kevin. When you are ready, speak to me about your chores and your advancement in House Tilvani. Okay, sure. What chores do we have? Mr. Serana has requested that someone deliver her new clothes. I'll pay 1,000 drinks to anyone willing to deliver them. New clothes? Take this skirt and deliver it to Mrs. Mrs. Serana. She lives in Telbernor and can be... eccentric at times. Take these alms of the intervention scrolls. Don't hesitate to use them if Therana becomes difficult. Well, doesn't she just sound lovely? Alms of the intervention and Therana's skirt. She lives in Telbranora. It's near the southeast tip of Azura's coast on an island. I will mark it on your map. I believe you can take a boat there. That's probably the best way. Alright, so let's go to Telbranora. This is not a quest I was looking forward to doing because I have done slight bits of um, research into what kind of guild jobs there are in here, but, eh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, Telbranor, here we go, here we go. I can hardly see a thing. This feels like a familiar area to me. Oh yeah, this is where that random group of people is. I want to talk to these guys again and make sure I know what they are. And I'm sure some of you are curious too. Well, 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 an outlander and a Telvani. Well, wonders never cease. And it is in the spirit of a friendly warning that I offer you a little advice. And that little advice is... Stay out of things that don't concern you, outlander. This affair is between myself and Therana. I want no help. I'll tolerate no interference. Okay. 
What? Anything related to... Are you a member of Telvani? Huh. Interesting. And I can talk to her about Mori and Lemos. Yes, the lady and the rogue. I've heard their love grows every day. The bard seen the songs about it. <laughs> I didn't expect that I'd find anybody else willing to talk about it to me, but okay. This is going to be a very, um, weird quest. There are two ways of completing it, and I am going to choose the way that is less dangerous for me. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'll decide when I get there. Lower tower? I'm probably going to want the upper tower. Tavani always seemed to be in the highest room. <laughs> the highest room in the tallest tower. Dwemer boots are huge. You guys ever noticed that when I had the Dwemer boots of flying? The boots are huge. There's a good reason that Dwemer stuff is heavy armor. Pretty sure it's heavy armor in this game. Might be medium armor, but yep, this is the top of the tower. As is the norm, since we are in Telvani, we are going to need a lot of levitate potions to talk to the counselors. Doot 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 doot. -doo -doo. Hello? I don't know you. I don't know you either, but you have a cool name. And here we go. Do I have any sort of... Ooh, do I have a spell of some sort? Not a scroll, like an actual spell. Levitate, 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 levitate. Any kind of levitate, any kind of levitate. I don't see no levitate. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to have to use a potion. EFG. Three levitate potions. They're actually rather strong. Or at least they last long, but okay. The heck are you? Alchemist and retainer of the Great House Tavani. Do you have anything cool on you? Ooh, you got some diamonds, emerald, ruby, a good skooma pipe. Okay! Some master stuff. Fascinating. Where is the Rana? Ah, oh, there you are! Okay! Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Oh, are those my new clothes? I've waited ever so patiently for them. Yeah. Oh, is that my new skirt? How do I know it's not cursed? Why don't you put it on? Uh... Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. I can either wear the skirt myself, or I convince her naked Khajiit slave to wear the skirt instead. And what is that book? Let me read this book. The Wolf Queen. Mercantile skull is up, and you're burning books. Okay. Oh, wait, The Pilgrim's Path. Have you ever read that? My journal has been updated with... I have marked the location of each shrine on my map. So that's something that's good for you if you want to join the temple, I think, or the Imperial Cult. I'm not sure. Anyway, we have something on our map now. So we can either wear the skirt ourselves or make the Khajiit wear it. I'm actually going to make the Khajiit wear it because I know it's going to happen. New clothes. You want me to wear that skirt? Yeah, wear it! Now you die! Give Razir the squirt. The skirt, yes. Razar rears the skirt. Now he's not naked anymore. And this would happen to me if, uh... I put the skirt on myself. Yeah, like they said, Mistress Tirana is crazy. I would use the Alms of E intervention scrolls that I was given to escape from her when she attacks me when I put the skirt on. And there's nothing really special about the skirt. Slave's right bracer, drain magic on self. Yeah, it's just a regular skirt. I don't want it. I don't need it. I mean, maybe she likes naked Khajiit and I got her angry. Maybe she wouldn't like me if I was wearing the skirt. I don't know. Therana is crazy. Totally crazy. New clothes? What new clothes? Oh yes, I wanted a Khajiit fur skirt. Are you listening? Yes, pay attention. A Khajiit fur skirt. Tell Felisa that I already have one. Thank you. Yeah, she's insane. She is friggin' insane. Let's get out of here. Right away. And go tell her that we sort of gave her the new skirt. Ugh, crazy Telvani. Back in the Telvani council house. Alright, lady. I'm just gonna talk to you from down here this time. 
Did you bring Mr. Strawn or her new kills? Yes, I did, and you were right, she is nuts. I trust you did not have any trouble. Right. Well, in any case, I owe you 500 drakes for the delivery. Perhaps I could also teach you how to mark and recall if you didn't know how already. Uh... I actually do know mark and recall. Um, yeah, I don't really need to know this, so never mind. Your choice, Kevin. Thank you for the offer, though. Thank you for the offer. Can I advance from doing a little... Oh, yeah. We may find you worthy of retainer. Awesome. Can I advance? No, I cannot advance again. All right. I'm going to get out of here because there's a weird lag happening. Pretty sure nobody's going to talk to me out here. So that's the end of this episode. Thanks for joining me, everybody. It's just a little lantern I can take. A paper lantern. Cool. Yeah, this is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed the episode, remember to click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't for the next episodes of Morrowind. It actually does look kind of cool, and I fell into the water. Okay. Come back tomorrow when we will do a few more House Tavani quests. And actually, there is something very interesting that I saw. Tomorrow, I'm going to take you on a... Yeah, that does look cool. Wow. A quest that I noticed while I was doing a little bit of research. And it will actually take us a very long time to complete, but we will be doing a whole bunch of other quests while we do that one quest. So, uh, I'm a little excited to take care of that quest, and hopefully you guys will be too after you figure out what it is. Come back next time when we will start up that quest, which I've already said a few times now. See you next time, take care.